Hey my friends Jean-Serge Gagnon here today we're going to talk about a skill a share in Clicky course we're going to compare the two platforms and see the features of one and the features of the other and talk about what are the pros and the cons of each and we're going to show you that by sharing the screen and showing you what the platforms can do and all that all right so we're going to get into comparing Clicky course with Skillshare in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so Skillshare clicky course of course you probably already know about it because I talk about it all the time since it's my platform but I want to show you Skillshare because Skillshare definitely is orders of magnitudes ahead in certain areas that clicky course isn't and that's fine because everything out there has a you know an audience right so the clicky course audience is different than whoever would want to use Skillshare people who want to use Skillshare might think clicky course is missing things but you might be the person who thinks that there's certain features on on clicky course that you like right so let's just get right to it I'm gonna go ahead and well actually before I do that I gotta remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're gonna want to go check out the video and the blog post at cis360.jsgagnon.com to uh, go do go, go check that video in the blog post because I will be sharing my screen and showing you what Skillshare and Clicky course look like all right so as I said let's get right to it let's go to the screen share right over here all right so we have Skillshare you go to skillshare.com and you end up on this page which basically asks you to log in or to create an account they talk about how you have there's this seven day of Skillshare premium for free uh, we'll talk a little bit about what those different things are but let's just close this guy up here but you can see that on the site we get a really nice looking uh, UI this is definitely one of the things that clicky course is missing because if I looked at, at clicky course you can see the about page is very basic very simple just basically a list of what the site does uh, without any like cute pictures and videos and moving things like they have here right all these cute things which you know we should probably get doing but that's definitely one thing that uh Skillshare has it's got a nice looking UI now is that what's important it certainly makes a difference in terms of interest and in terms of looking and in terms of being um uh, attracted I guess to something right the what it looks like uh but let's go into the features the functionality so first if I go to a Skillshare I can see right here that I've got all these different um you know courses that I can take and uh, I'm not sure if there's a cost let's see okay so there's a so there's there's obviously the as a student and as a teacher right as a educator the difference between the platforms as a student uh, let's say I look at this as a student right as a student I'm looking at this I'm seeing all these different courses I'm seeing these categories uh let's compare that to Click e course on Click e course if you go to the courses page right here you're going to see the available courses on the site in this layout here and you can choose the categories right here if I want to say for example blogging it'll show me the courses that are about blogging if I go and look at cryptocurrencies it'll show me the cryptocurrency courses um, affiliate marketing there's 15 of them right but that's kind of how that's kind of how you navigate on clicky courses obviously there's there's not as many courses on clicky course that's definitely one thing that's for Skillshare there's a lot of stuff if you're looking to learn something then yeah the Skillshare definitely would be better because there's a lot more stuff to to to, to access and to learn right how does the <coughs> how does it work let's see if there's any uh team browse animation I just want to see if there's any uh build student it doesn't really this is just the training right they don't talk about so what about the press blog affiliate partnership careers free classes scholarships becoming a teacher okay uh, well I don't want to get into that right now I just want to see privacy help <coughs> it doesn't talk about pricing or anything anywhere here right let's see what happens with go premium 
start your free seven day unlimited classes get unlimited access to thousands of inspiring classes so basically you get seven days of that okay so what happens after like how much does it cost to use the service after you've accessed it right that's one of the things that I find that's one of the things I find kind of annoying if I go to click eCourse if I go to there's other platforms I I, I compare I compared as well right I, we compared we compared uh, teach, um, teachable and we compared Udemy they both at least have a price page like on here on click eCourse you just go to plans and you can see the pricing right the pricing is right here right free uh to free to 150 a month depending on the um, depending on what you want to do with the platform as a student you never have to pay anything to use to use to view a course of course uh, uh, if the course is not is free then you don't have to pay anything as a student right if you want to uh so if you want to uh, host courses on there and sell them and generate some income from them then you you depending on how many courses you want and that kind of stuff that's for like I said that's for teachers for educators I'm still just trying to understand the difference between um you know um as a student how much does it cost you like that's the thing right if if it's costing to create an account let's take a look let's just google it how much does Skillshare cost okay Skillshare ad yeah okay is Skillshare worth it honest review Skillshare review is it worth the cost we think so premium Skillshare uh, different pricing okay so that's actually so they have a page here but why is it go premium but I want to I want to know what the pricing is Hmm. okay let's go to the search and just click it it looks like they have a page called premium look at that isn't that crazy you can't even get to the pricing page from their main page like how do you even find that link right but anyways if you google it they I guess they have that search as maybe it's their blog and no I don't know no skillshare.com premium anyways okay so over here it says that it costs twelve dollars a month or 24 a month depending on whether you do it and so the difference between premium and well what's the, what do you get okay so unlimited access creative so what do you get if you're not premium what do you get access to uh, frequently how does payment work uh, is there a discount does Skillshare offer team plans how do I cancel my premium what happens when I cancel your account will revert to free membership okay so what do I get as a free member this is this is a thing like on a site like click eCourse when you have a free account you have access to whatever's free right um and if you want to buy courses you pay for them right whereas on on here I guess you get access to anything by paying it right and I I if I remember correctly Skillshare has a um a uh, profit sharing pro uh, payment so whoever cre co creates courses I think uh supports teacher I think that's from the royalty pool that pays teachers yeah no ads perks annual premium members get discount 25 percent off and then there's these perks percentage off at certain places Squarespace so but it, yeah so the payment so as a uh, and yeah I, again like I said I, I'm gonna we're gonna get into the teacher part of it in a second but let me just okay let's just what what about affiliate thing so affiliates so earn seven dollars for every new customer you refer so that means that if somebody decides to pay a monthly fee you get seven bucks well I don't know if that's seven bucks a month we partner with like uh, to build share and contents we will get a unique tracking link that you can use to share any Skillshare link through Facebook your blog or Twitter however you choose uh so what who is eligible is free to join uh do trial sign as a referral yes a trial sign will count towards your referral payout we pay um okay how does Skillshare feel it uh, can earn seven dollars for each new customer each affiliate creates a custom account through impact radius that tracks their referrals in real time referrals have 30 days 
from using your link to sign up for premium membership so here's one thing that's different with Click eCourse on Click eCourse somebody who joins Click eCourse through your referral link is tied to you for life um, unless they buy so unless they buy something on Click eCourse through somebody else's link after they're on the on the site they are tied to you for any purchases they make directly on the site whether it's other courses or memberships they're yours right they're yours and that's definitely one difference here they have a 30-day thing here but for a clicky course it's lifetime um okay so let's just take notes here because I'm going to forget when I write the blog post right so let's see first of all so free to uh, actually let's do that so uh, skill share share affiliate 30 days 30 days cookie click I, I don't have to say click course I know what they are so I'm going to use this note these notes for my um for my uh blog post okay so uh over here let's go back to I want to see that's the thing is I want to become I want to become a a teacher okay let's become a teacher let's see what happens as a teacher why teach on Skillshare when you help others along it's rewarding by teaching you can grow your online following yeah right yeah that's for sure teach challenge join us in a monthly challenge okay how teaching works so create your first class film your Skillshare class publish it okay grow your following and then start earning okay uh who can teach Skillshare are working professionals experts in subject matter but but as long as your class adheres to our class guidelines it can be published okay what's included Skillshare include a combination of video all classes are pre-recorded 30 40 minutes okay what should I teach do I need to promote my class after it's a, a, a membership model so your class will have a built-in audience from the start so that is a definitely a great benefit if you're trying to build um you don't have to worry about marketing your own course you don't have to you know but how much do you get from the class so basically you don't make any money if uh just like anything else like if you if nobody buys your course you don't make money right but uh how can you earn money on Skillshare uh through monthly royalties based on the amount of minutes watched in your classes plus a referral bonus for every student you refer okay yeah uh where do you start teaching create your class start a class so what if I do this what happens if I try to create a class start a class sign into your account okay I'm gonna sign in with Facebook I don't know if I have an account on there or not if not it'll just uh sign me up okay I don't want to be a I don't want to do that oh there you go look at that so $6.99 $9.99 or $24 a month pick a plan $9.99 a month build annually well that's a pretty good difference right <laughs> $24 a month monthly or pay today for 30 percent off first year membership so you get this for a year okay so today's total search your seven day but I want to be a, a teacher why do I have to why do I have to look at premium okay let's just click on my classes and see what happens <coughs> okay uh my course my courses my classes membership all about community uh how do I how do I teach create a class okay that looks pretty simple create a class take the challenge start a class all right all right so now how do you create a class in Skillshare so in Skillshare what are we doing is we are we are doing this like this okay so how classes work Okay, upload videos we want Skillshare to play in and uh, so class guidelines your class needs a video so you need to have a video okay upload videos <coughs> okay let's just use some of these videos from uh because they're short videos I'm just going to do this upload error here's our troubleshooting why is this failing oh okay that's weird 
okay so it's uploading now oh I think there was a there's I have some internet you know I don't know if you've been following me for any length of time but I've been having lots of internet problems over the last I don't know six months so there we go okay so that's uploaded now I have one video in my in my course right I'm training a course uh and let's upload another one I don't know this is probably caused by the same thing let's do number two and let's just let it do this one here I'm not sure what's going on here but I would imagine if I reload the page it'll come back so let's let that guy do if I go back to my video lessons if I reload this class info video lessons uh let's see and let's reload I'm assuming you're going to lose I guess you're going to lose the upload if you, if you can't you can't reload I guess you can't do that on Click eCourse either okay so how do you create a course in Click eCourse first the same thing you register and you you use uh, Facebook to register right um again my internet problems are, are are showing up here during this recording uh let's just reload the page <clears throat> oh it's slow because it's uploading in the other tab right uh, in this tab here whoops in this tab here it's uploading right now still 36 percent that's wow that's a bigger video right okay uh plans if I go here and I say register right it's use Facebook to register same thing I can click on this now I already have an account obviously so it's going to log me in instead so I'm just going to do this it's going to log me in and registration says successful and if I reload it's going to have my login right there right <clears throat> so it says registration even though I already have an account so I really wouldn't um, but anyways so now I'm here and if I click on this plus you can create a course you just click on this that allows you to create a course and it's slow like it's slow because of this upload right so once this is finished it'll speed up it's just my internet uh, is overloaded by that upload but basically you create a course you got all these different tabs up here to choose the to set different things for the course like the title the summary the details the footer and then over here you got your image your price or whether it's downloadable or not uh, the access to the course how you give it the categories uh, SEO so all that's there and that's kind of how you do it in here you just go like this so once your course is created then you add lessons to it whereas with Skillshare it looks like it's basically a I want to put videos uh, or not you need videos I guess average 20 divided into short videos of two to five minutes <laughs> the combined length of it must be at least 10 minutes so you can't have a course that's less than 10 minutes whereas on clicky course you have no such limit so minimum minimum course has to be 10 minutes right uh and it's they say here uh average 20 60 minutes videos so I don't know if there's any um uh, look there you go it's finished uploading all right so they're both giving me this kind of weird error so let me just reload it now and let's see what happens if I reload they're both upload error right no video found I don't know what happened is it because these video formats aren't what they want let's take a look at the troubleshooting uh, here are troubleshooting tips is there any kind of exporting video should be recorded minimum of 1920 yeah audio track yes 69 30 or 30 yeah. filming and handheld device exporting <coughs> video should not be greater than two gigs here's mp4 so that's all fine those videos should be fine huh okay well I'm not really sure what's going on here upload error so that's interesting that they, it got the name and everything right but so I did the title okay you can click on that to change the title that's cool let's just say trim it. let's get that trim one out of there this one here will get the trim two out of there there we go save draft 
well let's assume that these videos worked right so what's the next step now if I go back to here I class info so this would be kind of like this page here that we're looking at here right on Click eCourse so a description the title a description and project it's filling the class project interesting okay uh then you specify category or subcategory class type okay okay so this would be if if the course this course is accessible to free members or not and then class skills okay skills that you need that it teaches or skills that are, you learn I guess marketing content marketing okay mobile marketing podcasting no let's say bitcloud oh, create tag bitcloud cryptocurrency there's not they don't even have that crypto create tag what bit what about bitcoin okay at least they have bitcoin blockchain what about blockchain blockchain they don't have blockchain either that that's kind of crazy that Skillshare wouldn't have cryptocurrency training and courses I mean sure it's uh there's some s skepticism around it but I mean hmm okay what if I were to search for let's go back here and just for the fun of it let's search for uh let's search for I'm already logged in so let's search for bit cloud any bit cloud anywhere there's no bit cloud wow <clears throat> how about blockchain blockchain p yeah okay <laughs> okay there's uh leverage blockchain ethereum for business blockchain ecosystem okay so there's some blockchain stuff in here there's some bitcoin stuff in here hmm interesting okay so there's a bunch of blockchain stuff okay anyways whatever that doesn't matter so now over here I would say uh Mario Nuffball on Bitcloud who talked to Mario whoops Mario in the fall during the first ever bitcloud virtual summit okay let's just do that for now category is going to be technology mm. I have no idea why there's not much there's not wow how about business marketing let's do that class type free select level beginner <coughs> okay why did it not, why didn't it not add it here there's only a, a number of skills you can put okay so that's that save that now I've got my class and I've got my video lessons which did not work uh why is this not working upload video let's do this this one again see what happens <clears throat> let's see if that one works this time I don't know maybe it's because my like I said because my internet right I have internet problems so not really sure what's going on but let's see if that works okay so now it worked why didn't it work the first time 30 minutes wow video processing 30 minutes that's definitely something <clears throat> that we don't do on Click eCourse but we also just just um share the video the way it was uploaded so if the upload doesn't fall in a particular uh, in a particular format or anything like that we don't reprocess it maybe maybe we should <clears throat> but we're not doing that on Click eCourse but there's a processing happening here so uh up after uh videos videos uploaded only 
processing 30 minutes for one more video okay so let's just say affiliate skillshare affiliate affiliate program seven dollars per referral for, for 30 days 30, with 30 day let's just say with a 30 day cookie <coughs> right uh video upload video do I do I put that video upload only so uh why I'm saying video upload only on on Skillshare is because with clicky course you can also have um a video let's just create this course here so Mario Nafal Nafal whoops Mario Nafal I know okay let's just do the exact same thing we did here core class info let's do that that in here and let's not worry about it. the rest let's click on next right so now the next thing is you can do search engine keywords I can say Mario Nafal I can say bit clout I can say bit I can say cryptocurrency I can say uh learn about bit cloud I can say how Mario whoops how Mario Nafal discovered bit cloud now as if you know anything about uh, SEO that basically is going to be keywords are going to be showing up in the page whenever anybody visits the course page I don't know if you can do that with uh, Skillshare or not if there's any SEO stuff uh, but they probably control most of that stuff right merchandising tip there's really nothing else <laughs> but it is nice and simple right it's just videos and um uh and uh and that so video lessons I don't know what what's happening here right it's my internet probably still but anyways okay so if I go here oh there you go my internet's gone I lost my internet again so I'm going to pause my recording here and come back in a minute all right so we're back the internet is back the uh, the problem was uh I don't know what it is <laughs> anyways doesn't matter okay so now we're doing this we got this course let's go into cover image I'm just going to put um I don't know yeah let's this is under Skillshare so Mario gonna fall I'm just going to put what's is this the one without the date okay there we go that's going to be that <laughs> and the price is going to be free and I'm going to not allow a downloads and I'm not going to use embedded I mean obviously embedded embedded is only good and if that's the part I want to talk to you about uh, the difference I was one mentioning is that with Skillshare you can only upload videos which has a positive side to it in the sense that um nobody uh, that they they control the video they own it but at the same time if you want to use your YouTube channel and you want to increase the number of views on your YouTube channel or Vimeo then uh with a, you can use that with click you can embed the video instead and then it's basically the YouTube channel that's going to be uh increasing your views so it allows you to to improve your number of views on your channel that kind of stuff right so you can do that if you want so I'm going to say uh done uh, access is also basically it's just a new course or whether it's public I'm going to make this as unlisted for now and you can allow or no comments right uh, let's see and then that's uh, sales you don't need to worry about it sites is don't need let's not worry about it for now okay so now you get your course created on Click eCourse um and you have a, a a a kind of a landing page here with no lessons right whereas with I do like how on Skillshare it's as simple as there's only two things you can do right the class in for the video lessons um on Click eCourse it's basically this whole thing is a separate kind of page and then after that lessons are added by clicking this plus here or clicking on plus lesson right so I'm just going to call this introduction right and over here I'm going to put uh, what topic will Mario 
talk about actually let's just let's just put the topic um well this is just uh anyways let's just do that and I'm going to put a video so again here you can put a YouTube link if you want if you have a YouTube channel I'm actually going to go show that in here my YouTube channel I actually have it here so I could if I wanted I can use um on on clicky course which you can't do on you cannot do this here on Skillshare Skillshare only allows uploading right whereas with clicky course you can choose <laughs> to to use a video that you have on your channel so if I look at for example where's Mario Mario uh, I actually didn't I did not I did not upload that to YouTube so let's do that this way I can have this I'm going to upload this video which will be a short one right the same one we just did uh the trim one the intro and then I'm just going to save it right so now it's uploading you see the upload process here after that upload is finished then you'll have one lesson in your course right one lesson in your course and uh, let's see now let's just finish that up um okay so let's just say we have this and what can I do can I save the draft so I can't submit it why can't I submit it is there something missing <laughs> so I guess these are kind of like uh, SEO stuff right do you have to have a project this is an interview interview with Mario Nathal okay save draft I can't submit it why can't I submit it I'll preview class I preview it what about the uh there's no there's no image or anything right there's lesson there's only one and that's it can I not have a cover photo or something like that about reviews discussion okay so about talk to Mario this interview with Mario okay uh, the reviews there's no reviews obviously it's a new it's a new course and that's the other thing with uh with clicky course that's done okay so now we have one lesson here if I go back to the course I can add another lesson but if I go back to the course you can see the lessons here you can also uh, make it so that it shows up here but let's just do another lesson I can click on plus over here and this one I will have um let's see what do I have I want to put a uh, short background story okay let's use this one get shareable link I can go down here and I can actually paste that in here right there and uh, let's say I want to use uh well it'll be embedded if it's a url okay so this is what what was that that was background story background a little bit about Mario's background okay learn how Mario started his online his meteoric rise all right save now what that does now is it will and I, because I have an account that's an um a premium account it also uploads it'll upload video so what it's doing now is it's actually downloading the video from YouTube and saving it on clicky course automatically so that you can have that um video as a video that's either embedded or not so if I go back to the course now you can see now that I have lesson one introduction lesson two background right and I can actually play this is that going to play let's just uh turn the volume to sound off here let's go to the end and go to the okay so now the other thing there you go so now it's playing this it's not playing the embedded because I told it not to I guess uh let's go back to the course 
details where's the course and of course let's just um uh, I don't have any categories oh I should probably have put categories but let's just edit the course I want to see I thought I had it embedded oh I did not okay let's see so do that so if I set it to embedded then the ones that were used a url if I play them now it's going to show the video using um using you know YouTube embedding right so it's, there you go so it's going to play the embedded the embedded view right and that's what I said you can you can do that if you want now the the negative side of this is that if it's a course that you don't want people to download you don't want them to access it's basically really easy for them to access it and find it and download and share it and send it to other people because it's on YouTube right but if you want it to be private then you wouldn't do that but that's something that I guess there's no way to control here uh that's full screen let's show the menu do my notes so I don't know how how do I make it published how do I publish it how do I get out of here teach teach view my notes following the cloud uh browse save at the calendar you first to leave a review so here's the other thing on clicky course you can actually rate a course also if I go back to the course you can see that there's a rating here I can say rating I can rate it five stars right and I can add a comment this is awesome interview in great format there and I can do this now that course is rated five stars by one user and uh, that's another thing you can do with uh, with this so you can also add a comment I can say hey how's it going and do whatever right save notify students would also would send messages to the students because I'm the uh, course creator right it also shows here how many views how many impressions how many lesson views how many clicks also shows how much watch time was in the course the total time is set zero because they're they're drafts but let's just publish and publish so now we have these two courses if I reload this uh I could have waited it would have refreshed on its own but it shows right here there's three minutes total and 17 seconds watch time so far right so that's kind of how it I, so it keeps track of this if I go to the list of the lessons I can see also the list of the lessons I can also edit some of these things um I can just edit right here so introduction introduction to what Mario will be talking about okay that's it there <coughs> and then the background then I can add another lesson let's put another one here so bit uh, bit cloud discovery discovery so how Mario discovered and then let's do that again we'll do in uh, YouTube again I go back here I know I have it here uh BitCloud discovery copy this and then paste it in here and save it I mean you can also set a thumbnail for the lessons uh doesn't seem like you can do that here at least I don't even know how do I even get back to my I guess this is it maybe no that's JavaScript what is that oh no <laughs> edit edit class oh there you go I gotta go back to here ah now I'm back into the edit but I still I still don't understand how I can it says there's a submit button there but I don't know how to submit it how classes work class requirements okay uh maybe it has to be oh oh it's not long enough that's why it has to be at least 10 minutes so right now there's only uh one minute video right so that's probably why it won't let me submit it but it'd be nice if it told you it said why right you click on it it should say but anyways okay uh so there so that's kind of how you if I go back to this course here now you can see on the clicky course site you can see that this is not published and I can publish it mm, there you go so now I have a course with three lessons in it 
there's all sorts of different things you can do too you can have a menu you can hide the lessons from the view down here uh because if I go here and then if I actually let's add categories let's add categories under categories I want to put uh I don't know affiliate marketing bitcloud digital marketing cryptocurrencies I don't know there's a whole bunch of things let's just do that main category this will be uh crypto let's say interviews and then subcategory let's call it bit cloud done so now there's categories here you see the categories interviews bit cloud and affiliate marketing cryptocurrency so you can actually click them to go search for all the other courses that are cryptocurrency based right for example right um but since this course is not published directly here right it's not a course that's available but I could actually let's publish it publish to public <coughs> and uh, I don't know why this arrow shows up but I think it's already done or maybe it didn't work oh that's interesting uh, uh let's go look see if it's edit course uh, let's, let's see if that worked there might be a bug here that I'll have to look at but yeah so now this is not published let's just edit it I'm just going to go straight to the edit and make the access here that button's supposed to do it for me but let's just make public yes sir done so this will be a short little uh course about with Mario in the fall so introduction background bitcloud discovery and there you go so that's all it is just a little little course anybody can access it and if I go to the feed this is the other thing with clicky course there's a feed where you can see and anybody else can see what's going on you can see right here that we talked to Marina fall there's some some new lessons added a new a new <laughs> you can see people uh putting their profiles up creating their accounts that kind of stuff right this is the feed that shows you new courses being created um if I refresh the feed is there new there's no new items okay uh, this is the published a new public course that's the course here that I just published right uh, <coughs> and uh, so it shows you that stuff it also shows you how much the site has made but this is my my information because I'm admin but uh, that kind of stuff is showing up here and there's 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 a lot of other things this uh, Skillshare is nice because it's very basic very simple um but like I said it's uh, also um it's also uh, welcome back let's uh... so this is all the let's let it load up here because I want to see look at that buffer original welcome back let's log out I'm going to log out somewhere because I want to I want to show what it looks like without being logged in right okay there we go Skillshare all right so so on Skillshare right you get you get this kind of page that kind of shows you what um really it is really nice right I certainly do think this is a nice looking a nice looking uh, UI for sure it would be nice to have that kind of UI with uh, something like Click eCourse right but on Skillshare it's more about having content that people can access for free and then paying premium to access some of the premium courses and then if you create a course on there you have no you no need to worry about any marketing or anything like that they do it for you the downside of that is that you don't get all of the sales you get just a percentage of the whole uh, pool based on how many people how many minutes people watch your stuff right whereas with clicky course you get full control of um, the 100 percent of the sales or whatever commissions you decide to give to people right um that's just and like I said with the there's a fee the social feed that kind of stuff and uh yeah so that's kind of the difference we were like 45 almost 45 minutes in hopefully you enjoyed this and if you have any questions you can always reach out and we'll see you in the next video this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from e-learning some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time